You thought you had volume in your hair? Hey guys, so today I thought I would talk about OCD. So many of my friends have OCD. Like, right now, they'd be like, your hair is not symmetrical, I can't even focus. I'm sorry, do you want me to even it up for you? Let me just do that. Actually, I don't think this is possible. What is happening with my hair? What is this? You're welcome. So guys, I have a friend with absolutely incredible OCD. And I used to have OCD about little things, but this is a whole nother level. She cannot go into a room without going around and looking at every single light switch and making sure they're all turned off. I mean, even if I'm using it and charging my laptop, it has to be turned off. Excuse me, I was using that. I don't care, I have to turn it off. <laughs> Seriously, hey, could you not? I need a professional stylist. Like, okay, let's be honest. The reason I wanna be famous, this, this is why. I mean, sure I can act and sing and, you know, love myself, but this, this is a problem. Can I even tie this up? Oh my God. That is not attractive. Oh, that's so sore. There we go. All right, back to whatever we were talking about. I mean, my friend isn't so bad that she has to lock and unlock doors like three times in a row, but I mean, she has to turn the taps in the shower so many degrees, otherwise it just throws her off and she can't relax. And I wanna know guys, there are so many people out there with OCD and I, as a kid, I probably have told you this before, but I used to think, don't judge me, but I used to think that there was a string attached to my like body, like a tail, and I couldn't, like when I was playing tag, I couldn't run one way without thinking that I'd get tangled, so I'd have to run back, and I would lose tag so many times because of that. Like, how do you even explain that to a doctor without them going, hmm, you're normal. So guys, I want to know, like, do you have a crazy OCD habit that you would like to share. I think I've sort of outgrown it, luckily, but it is like a disease. You can't just ignore it. My friend, okay, she not only hangs things in color coordination, like her clothes, she hangs them like in length and then by brand name, all her DVDs are alphabetical order. Over here, I'm all like, I don't have time for that, you know? But I do know what OCD is like. I had a string tail as a child. That's a sentence I'd never thought I'd say. Hmm. But are you so OCD that you have to say CDO so it's in order? Why do things have to be in order? I mean, it does drive me crazy a little bit, but not so crazy that I actually do anything about it. I'm like, that's annoying. I don't do anything. Another weird thing, like if she's drawing a square, you know when you draw a square, you just draw a square. She has to actually get a ruler. She can't relax until she gets a ruler, measures each side and make sure that it's exactly equal length on each side. I'm all like, look at my square, and she's all like, that's a hexagon, and I'm like, don't judge me. Okay, bye.